Hi everyone. We're going to give you a quick tutorial on our to-go kits from Old Pine Sign Workshops. Um, you're going to receive the bag looking just like that with all the colors and the stencil you picked. And then go ahead and open it, Em. This is Emily, the cutest little sign maker I've ever met. <laughs> and you're going to open it up and she's going to basically just show you how to get everything out and what to do with it. You're going to get your three paint colors that you chose. You're going to get three sponges that go with each paint, two um, toothpicks. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to get your stencil, your board, and then your paint, uh, paint paper. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is you're going to take your stencil and put it right on top of your board. Make sure your board is going left and right which would be the green has to go left and right, perfect. Make sure you like that side over the other ones. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and rub, 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 rub. You're gonna rub this for approximately two minutes. Basically, we're trying to get that white tape to stick to the blue. So you wanna give it a nice rub. Don't burn your hand or your shoulder or anything like that. Just give it a nice rub down. If there's a piece that's not covered, it's okay. You can see that little piece right there not covered and it's gonna be okay. If there's a wrinkle or a crinkle or too much on it, it is all okay. We're just basically trying to get these two to stick for a little bit. After you've rubbed for about two minutes, go ahead and turn that stencil over to look at a set of checkers. You can see the checkers right there. <laughs> you are going to separate the blue and the white. Do you see how she's separating it right there? Keep your finger on that blue. That blue part is sticky. Okay, it's not gonna hurt you. You can touch it, you won't hurt it. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna wanna hold that blue right down to the sign and that white you're gonna pull back. Now with that white, if any of the blue comes up, we're gonna push it down. Um, let's pretend a piece is coming up. You're just gonna push it down like that. Yeah. Okay, basically all the blue down, oh, all the right white up. There you go. So there's a perfect example. You see that little blue piece coming up? Oh, pull it back fell. a little, oh, it fell. <laughs> you're just gonna take the white and push it down. Perfect. So when you're done with that, you want to make sure this is pure white, no blue. Yes. All right. So what you're going to do then <laughs> is, yep, still sticky. Go ahead and turn that stencil over and you're going to place it on your board. Now you should have a very small perimeter around it to make sure it is straight. You can see that these sides are straight, all perfectly straight quarters. Hold it up. Just, yep. Perfect. Okay, so all of your corners are straight, all of your lines are straight. So you're working on a perfect square and your stencil is a perfect square. So you kind of want a nice little perimeter around the whole thing. So basically, you can see right here, that looks good because the blue and the edge of the board are perfect. And then you're gonna go to the top of the board and the same thing. Blue and edge of the board are perfect. Okay, so now that that's on there, go ahead and take your hand and rub that on. You see how she went from the middle out on that? That's a good tip, especially if you're working with a bigger sign. So you're going to rub this for two minutes. Same procedure. Rub, 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 rub. And then after about two minutes, what you're going to do is start seeing that white tape. See how that white tape is pulling up in certain spots? That's the top piece. It's put on in layers, so you're going to want to take it off in layers. You're going to slowly peel that white tape off, making sure all the blue is flat onto the board. Perfect. After you've done with that, make sure you look at that piece of white tape and make Just sure like there's this. absolutely no blue on it. That's garbage too. Yep, that's so. all garbage, absolutely. So go ahead and peel that white tape off. Make sure you're slow. This part isn't like a Band-Aid. This part we like actually that? have to concentrate. Right. You don't want. So if that blue comes up, like she just said, push it back down. And if it happens a lot, go back to rubbing for another two minutes. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Perfect. And this is garbage, so yep. you don't have to worry about it. Very good. Perfect. Like that. 
Okay. All right, so now you see your board basically has a blue stencil on it. Um, what you're gonna do is you can start to see some air bubbles on there. You can see them right there, yep. So basically what you wanna do is rub this down. So just use your finger, you do a nice rub down. Um, make sure that you're not pressing so hard where you're actually lifting up the stencil and bending it backwards. You just wanna, even if the kids trace their name or trace each letter, um, if you just traced it like this, every single piece on there, that would be easy too. You just wanna make sure that you're rubbing all that down. This is the most important step because basically this is going to make sure that the paint doesn't bleed under. It doesn't matter if you have like bubbles over here, just correct. Um, Em, go grab, see those stencil pieces over there? I cut, just grab two. Yeah. I totally forgot. We're going to, we're going to cover our edges. So when you have a sign like this, how many should you grab? Just grab two. Do you see how, if you're looking at this overhead, this where we're gonna paint is very close to the edge. Okay, we're gonna protect our edge. So you're gonna get these in your pack too. <laughs> They're not fun to take apart. No, they aren't, so. There okay, go. there you go. When you take them apart, they rip real easy when they're off the white, perfect. You're gonna take that and you're just gonna protect the edge of your board. Don't go over the stencil. But... Right. And especially because the edges, like you can see here and here is a little yeah. close. Right here, we don't need to worry about it. Just the edges. And this is a different pattern than what everybody has today, but this one will be going out soon too. Easy to rip, really, though. Yeah, once it's off that white. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. now just hold that, that sign up, Em. Everything is protected and all our air bubbles are rubbed out. Looks adorable. Okay, now it's time to paint. So basically, you have your three colors right there. And she's gonna open them up, take the lids off. Gotta pull up my sleeves. Yeah, pull up her sleeves. Okay. So we've given you these little sponges. <laughs> and you're probably gonna hold them longwise like yeah. this. Okay, because you're gonna dip right into that cup. Should we start with? We're gonna do this. Pistachio, I guess. Okay, dip a little bit, just a little. Pull it out right next to it on that brown paper and dab up and down a few times just to get that excess paint off. Okay, good. You wanna have a nice little circle like that. When you go to your board, you're just gonna dab up and down, up and down. You don't want full coverage on that first coat. See how lightly she's doing it? Even her hand is at a light pace. Perfect. And to get into details, you can just turn the Sponge, 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 <laughs> sponge. Awesome. And you're gonna get one coat of every color that you wanna work with on this board, on the board. So her green's gonna go on, then she's gonna come over here. What color should we do this? This maybe? Yep. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and dip in just a little, pull it out and right next to it, dab almost all of this off. So you can see real close, Perfect. Almost all of that paint is off. So when she goes to that board and she's very light hand at dabbing, that's the coverage that you're gonna get. This is so we don't get bleed lines. Yeah, yep, exactly. If you go real light now, you won't get bleed lines later. And then that last color, dip in, take almost all of it off. Oh boy, that was a big dip. So. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. You make a bigger circle, that's all. Sometimes you count to 10 too. Yeah, Helpful. that's what we say in the classes, count to 10, it makes, <laughs> makes it easier. All right, and then she's gonna cover the rest of that and that's one coat of everything on there. Good, good. Also, if you were doing the tic-tac-toe. Oh yeah, we'll do that too. Yeah. Okay. Smarter than mommy. <laughs> okay, so if you're doing those tic-tac-toe pieces, Ours are painted because we had the sample, but she's gonna take them out of the bag. It's just like, we usually rip bags, but you want this bag to keep those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then put them on that little brown paper. And let's just say we wanna paint this one green. <laughs> We're gonna dip a little, same procedure. Dip a little, take a lot of that off, and then you're just gonna dab that little guy you're gonna get paint on your hands. But that's it wrong. comes off, yeah. I did Perfect. one coat on him, he was easy. Yeah, 
So he's done. Because these you won't get, like, they won't bleed, so. Right. And then do another one on that Easter egg, because yeah. we're going to show you how we can decorate them at the end. Do this, and then we can use that color to decorate. Perfect. And we'll do this one, too. So why not? This you don't have to worry about doing Yeah, too much light. or too little. Yeah. It's full coverage right from the start. Like that. Yep. And then we're just going to give that guy a little more coverage. Yeah. He's a light color. He's a so. light color. And when you're using your paints, if you have small writing, like if you had your name in real small, you want to go the brightest color you can so you can see it. Do this too. <laughs> So if you didn't have the tic-tac-toe, this is what your board looks like. And you're going to be ready for that second mm -hmm. coat. When you're looking at it like this, you're going to see no shine. Yeah. As soon as it's matte, that means you're ready for your second coat. So she's still dipping. She's still taking almost all of that off. Same pressure, too. And now she's going until it's full coverage. So she's just gonna up and down dab, up and down dab to make sure she's gotten all those details. So full coverage now. Well, I got the bunny's leg, but that's okay, cause at the end. <laughs> we'll fix it. Yeah. So you can see full coverage, 100%. We're not going at a harder pace. We're not going with more pressure. <laughs> just go right through the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just want to make sure everything is fully covered. This is fun to do when you're bored. Who doesn't bored. love the paint? Yeah, right? Plus, it's fun to make your own creations. Your colors you pick. And you when your friends come over, you can say, well, look what I made. <laughs> I, made I made it. And if you're exactly. doing tic-tac-toe board, you can play a game. Yeah, you can't be bored with a board game. Mm-mm. Even though they are called a board game. <laughs> board. Right okay, right? <laughs> dip. This is the most important part of the whole thing. If you dip a lot like I just did, just keep, keep on dabbing. Yep, work it around, work it around. Make your circle uh, bigger if you have to. Okay. And go ahead and do that color. Your other color going so we're yeah. Gonna... Good. Yep. <laughs> Just make sure that's filled in. I couldn't see through the camera. I know it is hard. <laughs> And we're just making sure everything is 100% covered. And this is like, this activity does take up a good amount of time, so it takes up a lot. It absolutely does. Of time. Which is nice too, because when you're bored, you want <laughs> something that takes a long time to do. And you can take as long as you want too. We're just trying to go through it quickly so you're not bored with our tutorial here. We don't ever go this quick, but we're good. Normally, this is like a three-hour process. No, 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 this one. Oh, on this one. Though. But the normal ones. Yeah. But the normal ones. These little guys. Probably about a half hour, forty minutes. Yeah. Okay, so she's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna worry if we've gotten green where it peaches or anything like that. We don't want to bore you too much, but we want to make sure that you have full coverage on that board. So no wood grain. So you can see right there, full coverage. So something like right there would need just a little more paint. Especially if it's like a light color like that, you're definitely gonna need Yeah. Stuff okay, like so that. this is where you wanna wash that paint off your hands just in case. She's not going to, she's used to it. But yeah, it's probably so, in my hand too. <laughs> so basically she's gonna grab a corner and pull straight up to the sky. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. That's garbage. So it doesn't matter where you put it. Just have mom or dad grab it. Or if you have like a little garbage can next to you, hold it up real quick. I just want to show them how funny it looks. So everything looks great, right? Except that A. So if you have a word that had any center or letter, that's what it's going to look like. The chevron bunnies, they have a lot of this stuck on their board still because most of their design is still on the board. So what you're going to do is wait till that dries. And then but you're we'll going to talk about these now, right? Um, yeah, we can, but let's wait for that to dry. I just want to get that over just in case I'm not doing the tic-tac-toe. Yeah. So when that's dry, which is, remember, matte, not shiny, go ahead and grab a toothpick. We only have one to do, so we're just going to take that toothpick. And you're going to flat. Hold it flat, wedge right under that. Oh, and <laughs> it's coming to the camera. It's All right. to it wants it to come out. Like. And then you're just going to wedge under that and pick out. So now it looks a lot better. Because now you can see that A is actually an A. Yeah. But um, the Chevron bunnies, like I said, have a lot of that on there. You need a lot of patience, maybe help from mom and dad, and that's okay too. They can help. Oh, wait, no, actually, there's a couple more pieces. Is there? Yeah, in the wreath. Oh, okay, good. So we got a little more here. It's kind of still little wet, pieces. but. It's still wet. And if you do it dry, you won't have any problems. But if you do it wet, you might have uh, maybe the paint might smear, and that's okay. Yeah, we like don't care that, on but... ours. Mm -hmm. We're just doing this as a really quick sample. It's so super cute. I yes. love it. Okay, awesome. So if you have that tic-tac-toe board, the easiest way to decorate these little Easter eggs, because they are so tiny and so cute, yes. is with a toothpick. Another toothpick. Okay, so you're going to want to go to these jars and hold it straight up and down. And if you want to do dots, like turn that one over, turn it over just so we can see. If you want to do dots like that, all you're going to do is dot, 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 wherever you want them. You want to do a line, you're going to hold it a little more on the angle and do an angle. Oh, yeah, or a little, you can dip more paint. Oh, a line. I thought you meant like no, swing swags. Yep, swing swags are good. So that's basically it. And you're going to wait for them to dry. How cute is that? Give them the little eye you can too. I knew and you, you can just like. I knew you what? couldn't. Hit. Yeah, it's so funny. I knew you wanted him to have an eye. <laughs> and give him an eye. And also, <laughs> I'm name on him. his ears. Oh, yeah. Whatever you want to do, he is yours to create. All of these art kits are yours to create. Paint his toenails. I mean, nail polish. <laughs> you know, you can get so creative with this. So, <laughs> so we hope you have a really good time and a lot of fun <laughs> playing with our to-go boards. We're super excited to have this option for everybody. <laughs> so uh, if you have any questions, message me on Facebook or 609-994-7387. Just shoot out a message to me. Have mom or dad do it. If you have any questions, I am there to help you. Thank you so much for your business and we'll see you next time.